Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So just starting off with the weekly, there is a pattern here that we need to be very, very conscious of. Uh, and I think let's rather just uh, do that. So the first pattern is we have a trend line here that we are touching, as you can see. And then just inside that, there is another trend line uh, on the weekly which we've kind of broken through. Okay, so we'll get down to that on the lower time frames. But I think look at the weekly, we are very, very tired. We overbought. Uh, we've just pretty much tagged the measured move, um, which was this level here of 32.692. Uh, if we start dropping down to the time frames we can trade, look at the, the eighth hour, solid move up, touch the uh, the measured move and then basically went sideways look at my oscillators very tired uh, you don't want to be long up here we have trend line support and we've also got this trend line break as well now remember this is pretty much uh, sorry just let me do, do this and get the right trend line Okay, so messy, but I think you should get the picture. That is a channel. Okay, it's a pretty strong channel, weekly channel. We have broken some structure to the upside, and there is normally a 25% probability we are going to continue that move to the upside, and a 75% probability we're going to pull back. And the pullback is typically down to the bottom end of the structure. Now, if we look at the noise that's driving this at the moment, let me just get some clarity here. So if we look at the noise that's driving this at the moment, uh, the stimulus has finally gone through. It's gone through all the, the rhythmarole and song and dance. So that should be starting to hit the market shortly. Uh, tech stocks have had a bit of a bounce at the moment. So that's also up. So, you know, what's the next thing that um, people are watching for? And that's really just what's going to happen with the, the coronavirus. Now, the interesting thing that, that we're starting to see in the market is the um, the diversions amongst all the markets. So the ones that I watch, which is DAX, um, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500, those instruments are all acting independently of each other. S&P and NASDAQ um, are still coupled a little bit because of the, the tech stocks. But, you know, as for the others, I mean... DAX isn't following the Dow. The Dow is not following the DAX and entering the European session. And um, that's a very interesting uh, phenomenon that's happening because that doesn't normally happen. So something is brewing, uh, whatever it is, you know, we know that we are in a, a massive bubble at the moment and, uh, you know, it just keeps keep, keep getting pushed up, pushed up by, by the, the central banks. So, um, yeah, so it's a, there's a lot happening and... Uh, you have to be very, very cautious about what uh, about what you're trading at the moment. So for us today on the Dow, you know, we really the only bit of opportunity we got uh, was uh, well, two hour here is not going to help us. Was pretty much down here in the week, early in the week, we got that structure there, and that pretty much been the only opportunity we've had to to get in onto this. Uh, if we get down to the hour. And let's have a look at what uh, is transpiring. So, firstly, this trend line, diagonal trend line. I wonder if we shouldn't just uh, let me just make that a different color because you can actually see. Uh, let's make it a dark blue. There you go. And then I'll do the same with this one. Okay, so now you've got your diagonal trend lines. You can see how price got above it, found support, and then we found resistance off the one above it. So I'm very, very, very skeptical about this. I suspect we get another attempt at uh, 32,692 or 36. Uh, let's just round that off. It'll be 32,700. And then it's decision time. I'm not interested in being long here. That's uh, pretty clear. We, we may have some opportunities further down. But because we are above this trend line at the moment, um, 
Yeah, I'm a little bit cautious, I think. I think that's probably the best way to be right now. So if you come down to 15 minutes, there are opportunities to get back in long. And that would be here at 32,466. Um, I'm concerned. Let me just put it that way. This is not an area I actually want to be long at all. I think uh, what I'm looking for is a little bit more of a, a pullback, some kind of structure. And a pullback onto structure that I'm... That hasn't been done so for example this one down here 31668 uh, now that's a pretty serious breakout but that has not been tested the the measured move which was this head and shoulders it is up here that from my yeah you know, from my perspective that is closed that is target has been met now what i'm looking for is i'm looking for pullback on structure there's no real structure up here there's a little bit here uh, 32466 but not really interested in that one at the moment. I'm looking for a deeper pullback. Deeper pullback is going to break the trend line as well. But the key thing that I'm looking at is these, uh, we're basically top of the channel. And uh, I'm very wary of trading long for a break on the top of the channel. Uh, even though all we've got here is a little bit of a measured move. There's probably two or three pips here on the measured move. So in other words, Instead of me rambling anymore, there's no real trade opportunities for me here until we pull back. So uh, we're going to need to pull back 31, 32,156 firstly, and then secondly, uh, a much deeper pullback all the way down here at 31,668. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, this is really inflated based on a stimulus which, which was already priced into the market and then we've pushed it even higher. So uh, we had a good job number yesterday as well. But still, it's this is really bloated at the moment. So um, I'm waiting for a deeper pullback, or just sitting on my hands today. I think there's opportunity on currencies that are a little bit more uh, in your face, to put it that way. That's actually a lot clearer and better opportunities than what I see here. And um, anyway, trend is up. Should be looking to go with the trend. Uh, only concern I've got is that we are above the channel and then we're testing the top of the channel and those are weekly channels so they're going to be pretty heavy areas of uh, resistance hope it helps and uh, whatever you do just stay safe and uh, we'll catch up with you next week uh, cheers for now